Hi, welcome to the Clallam Resilience Project's uh, Be Well, Take Care video series. Today I'm going to talk about a little resilience skill that is called developing critical thinking. Um, and the reason that developing critical thinking is a resilient skill is because it helps you, uh, because critical thinking helps you examine your own um, thinking processes and it also helps you examine your own behaviors and it helps you to um, be better able to recognize when you're reacting rather than responding to a situation. So overall, the better you are at critical thinking, the more calm and the more reasonable you are in life. And, and if you're calm and reasonable in life, then most likely you have better, better health outcomes. You have better relationships. You have a better relationship with yourself. You um, have higher self-esteem and you have um, uh, better physical health, physical and uh, organic health. So um, you make better decisions. So the thing that I'm gonna talk about a little bit is in terms of developing critical thinking skills. One way to do this is to ask open-ended questions. So for instance, if um, I'm, you know, um, uh, trying to solve a problem, I can ask myself, you know, what do I think will happen if I do X or Y? Uh, you know, and then I go through all of the processes of figuring out what will happen if I do it this way versus what will happen if I do it that way. And then maybe I even say, what about Z? What, what will happen if I do it this way? You know, so like there's three alternatives there. And then I decide on which is the best alternative based on the logic and the um, outcome of each alternative. So for instance, to take, you know, something, a very, very simple um, example, it would be, you know, what do I think would happen if I drop this rock off uh, this ledge, or if I drop this feather off this ledge, or if I drop my coat off this ledge, you know? So those three things all weigh a different amount. And so if we planned that out, we could say to ourselves, okay, well, the coat has this much density, it weighs this much, uh, it might get caught in the trees, um, it, it might actually never make it to the ground. It might get snagged on that bush down there. Um, you know, uh, why would I want to drop my coat off this ledge? <laughs> then I wouldn't have my coat anymore. Uh, in com in, but the feather, the feather hardly weighs anything at all. And the feather would drift down. The feather might not ever make it to where we think it's going to make it. It might drift into a tree. It might drift out to sea. It might... Um, it might draft up if we're dropping it off a ledge uh, instead of falling at all. It might go up. If I drop a rock, that thing's going to just go straight down because it's heavy, it's dense, it's condensed. I, and see, what I'm doing is I'm analyzing all of these different elements in this one problem. You know, so here's three alternatives. Here's what's going to happen if I drop the rock. Here's what's going to happen or potentially happen if I drop the feather. Here's what's going to happen or potentially happen if I drop the coat. So this is an example and it's a very simple example of asking an open-ended question in terms of critical thinking and in terms of developing critical thinking for yourself. So another, I just want to remind everybody that it's important to develop critical thinking because critical thinking helps you to respond rather than react. And we know that when we react, we aren't thinking anymore, really. We're not using our prefrontal cortex, we're using our limbic system. And our limbic system is, uh, is a more primitive part of our brain that um, just reacts to situations. Um, whereas our prefrontal cortex sorts things out says, oh, what would happen if I did this? What would happen if I did that? 
that kind of thing. So this skill of asking yourself questions, what would be the outcome? Um, what could I expect from this? Um, what does this word mean? Um, what are all the different connotations of this word? Uh, what's the use of it here in this sentence? The, those kinds of questions are going to help you to develop your critical thinking skills and help you to have a healthier and uh, longer life. Um, so thanks a lot for watching. I hope that that was helpful. And I invite you back to our Be Well, Take Care video series. And I will see you next time. Thanks so much.